Hi everybody, I'm Laura and today we're going to be making a planet together. So let's get started. So what do you need? Well, you're going to need some paper or some card. I'm using white paper here, but you could use coloured paper if you have it. I have some coloured tissue paper that I could use. And if you want to be extra good for the environment, you can use um, any cereal boxes or any cardboard that you have lying around. So you're also going to need something circular to draw around. This is so we can make our planet shapes. I've got a bowl here from my kitchen, um, but you can use anything circular that you can find. You're also going to need some scissors, but please ask parents or guardians for help when using the scissors in this um, project. You're also going to need some pens. So here I've got a load of felt tip coloured pens so that we can make some really creative planets together today. If you have any other materials that you would like to use, please do. You can use pipe cleaners, glitter, cotton wool buds, tissues, stickers, anything that you could find can be used to make these awesome planets. So the first thing that we're going to do is cut out our circle. So you're going to take a pen and your circular object and you're just going to draw around it with your pen. And this will make a really nice circular shape so that you can cut round. So then be very careful, take your scissors and cut round it. And once you've cut round it, you should have a really, really nice circle. Perfect. And now we're ready to start creating our planet. We live on planet Earth and we go round the sun, but we're not the only planet to go round the sun. So closest to the sun, you have your rocky planets and this area is really, really hot. And this has Mercury and Venus. But as you go out, you get into the zone, which is just perfect for us to exist. And you have the Earth. And then a bit further out, you have Mars. But if you go even further out, you have these gas giant planets, Jupiter and Saturn, and they have loads of clouds and storms going on in their atmospheres. And then when you go really far out from the sun, you get the ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. And these are really cold and have a lot of ices in them. Something to say about the gas giants and the ice giants is you wouldn't be able to stand on them because there's no surface. So there's a lot of crazy planets that we have in our solar system. But every time that you look at the night sky, every star could have its own planet around them. These planets are called exoplanets. So planets around stars that are not the sun. We know of so many stars. There are more stars than there are grains of sand on all of the beaches across the whole of the world. So there's many stars and there could be even more exoplanets. So let's get creative. Let's make some really cool, really amazing exoplanets. All right, it's time to get creative. So you're going to take the circle that you've already cut out and then start being creative. So I'm gonna use some felt tip pens. My favorite colors are purple and pink. So we're gonna go for a stripy pattern, very similar to Jupiter. So I'm gonna start off by coloring in some stripes. So you can use whatever you want here Any colours, any materials, we want to make some really cool planets because these could exist. 
there might be purple and pink striped planets. Now I'm getting towards the centre, I'm going to make a big spot. So Jupiter has a big spot on it and it's a storm. So I'm going to make a similar one with a really swirly pattern going on. Here's what we've got so far. So we've got our purple and pink striped pattern with our big storm in the middle. So I think that it's going to be really cold on my planet. So it's going to be very far away from its star. So I'm going to draw some diamonds to represent ices. So once I've drawn all of the ices and the clouds on, it ends up looking like this. So this is my gas giant planet that's around a star and not the sun. And we've got a purple and pink striped planet with ices, which means it must be really far away from its star and a big swirling storm in the center. All right, so I'm going to show you some planets that I made earlier. So there's this one. This is a lava planet, which means that there's lots of hot lava spurting out of volcanoes that you can see here. And I made this with pipe cleaners and tissue paper and some pens to draw on lots of details. This is a gas giant. So I've used tissue paper in the background to make this purple and blue pattern. And then I've used pipe cleaners to make some swirly patterns. This represents clouds and storms going on in the atmosphere of this planet. For this planet, I've used lots of glitter. And this glitter is representing ices, which means it's very cold and far out from its star. But also I've made a ring. So this looks similar to the rings that Saturn has. Here we've got another cold planet. And again, I've used lots of glitter to make the ices. So again, this would be really far away from the star. But I've also used some cotton wool to really make these nice fluffy clouds as well. This is my favorite planet that I made. This is a planet that's very similar to our home on Earth. So you've got liquid water, so lots of blue, which represent the oceans. And also we've got some land. But what I love is that we've got these little green stickers. So we've got some aliens. So you don't have to keep your projects 2D. You could make them three dimensional, just like my friend Sophia. This one is an exoplanet. And this one is Mars. And this one is Earth. Also, my friend Hannah used food as a material to make her planets out of. This one is the Earth. It has many different layers and she's used lasagna sheets, lentils and tin foil to show you. This one, she's used salt to represent ice 
and use tin foil for the center of the planet. You really can use any materials that you want. Thank you so much for being creative with me. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Who knows what planets are out there and who knows what we'll find? Whether we've got lava planets, life, big ring systems, you never know. And your imagination can really run wild with this one. Have fun.